All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to update the BIOS on a BC250. You are gonna go to the link I have in the description, and you're gonna drag all of those files onto a, a USB key to the root, and you're gonna plug it into your BC250, power it on, and then you're gonna hit the delete key, and then you're in the BIOS. You're gonna come over to save and exit, you're gonna go straight down to your USB key and click on that. You're gonna let this boot up. We're going to type in FS0. Boom. Take you right there. You can do DIR just to verify that you see the ROM files. And you're going to type out this. And you're going to type this in right here. And I will also do this in the description. And this will give you a Steam logo that's the dash of the files. If you don't want the Steam logo, just take out the dash. Okay, and then you're going to click. And it's going to update your BIOS. So let it do its thing here. When it's all done, it should look just like this. And then you can go ahead and click Control, Delete to reboot. Okay, so I just did that, and mine was rebooting. Let it boot all the way back up. You can see a Steam logo. And then go ahead and turn it back off. Because now you have to move the jumper to clear the BIOS. And what you're gonna do is this jumper right here, well, this one right here, and the camera frame. You're gonna pull that jumper off, and move it over, slide it over there, wait for like 10 seconds and then put it back. And then you'll be good to go. Okay, so now you want to turn it back on after resetting the BIOS. So it comes back into the BIOS. So we want to move it back up again. Okay, we're back into the BIOS. Now, you come over to GFX configurations. So you want to go to this NBIO in the GFX and go down to right here and you can choose your uh, your VRAM size. Now if you're gonna play heavy heavy games on this like Warlands 4 and Monster Hunters and stuff I recommend using 7 big the VRAM um, and then running them on medium with Brain Gen and, and SSR and honestly <laughs> it works really good. This thing works a lot better. So anyways, you just choose whatever one you want. I'm going to do seven on this. I'm going to escape. And then you're going to go over here and save it. And that's all you got to do. And boom, you got a lot of options to choose VRAM um, in there. Look at this. It legit plays this perfectly. I am impressed. It played very well. 